So you want to create quantitative microorganism suspensions? Should you prepare them manually or use Microbiologic's quantitative microorganisms? Let's take a look at both. First, let's manually create quantitative suspensions. For example, imagine you want to prepare a microorganism suspension that contains 100 to 1,000 colony-forming units, or CFU, per milliliter. First, grow the microorganism on an agar plate. Next, use standards to calibrate the turbidimeter. Inoculate phosphate buffer with microorganisms. The amount of turbidity in the tube should be equivalent to a 0.5 McFarland. A 0.5 McFarland is equivalent to approximately 1 times 10 to the 8th microorganisms per milliliter. Measure the turbidity with the turbidimeter. If the concentration is too low, add more microorganisms. Measure the turbidity again. If the concentration is too high, add more liquid. Measure the turbidity again. Repeat as needed until you get a density measurement of 0.5 McFarland. When you achieve the correct density, serially dilute the microorganism suspension. The suspension contains approximately 10 to the 8th microorganisms per milliliter. And, in our example, you only want a concentration of 100 to 1,000 CFU per milliliter. Line up six tubes. Each tube should contain 9 milliliters of phosphate buffer. Take 1 milliliter from the 0.5 McFarland microorganism suspension. Add it to the first tube of phosphate buffer. Vortex the tube. Serially dilute and vortex five more times. Now you finally have the CFU concentration of 100 to 1000 CFU you are seeking. Inoculate your agar with 0.1 milliliters from the last serial dilution tube. You should obtain 10 to 100 colonies after incubation. Incubate the agar plate overnight or longer if you have a slow growing microorganism. If there are more than 100 colonies after incubation, the whole process must be repeated. So there you have the manual method of preparing microorganism suspensions, taking a lot of time and effort and hoping for good results. Microbiologics makes creating microorganism suspensions simple. So how would you create suspensions with Microbiologics quantitative cultures? Here's an example. Say you want to make a suspension that will deliver 10 to 100 CFU on a triptic soy agar plate. There are only three easy steps. First, add a quantitative microorganism pellet to diluent. Many of our kits come with diluent for rehydration of the lyophilized microorganism. Second, vortex the suspension. Third, plate 0.1 milliliters onto the agar. After incubation, you will see perfect results. So manual methods? or Microbiologics Quantitative QC Microorganisms.